They're gonna try to take out a pencil, and this is what's gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> oh man, that is messy. What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. Since it's back to school season, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys five pranks that you could potentially pull off in class using school supplies or food. I gotta warn you though, a couple of these pranks are pretty messy, so maybe it's best not to try them out right away. I don't want you guys getting detention on the first day of school, but I'm still gonna show you these pranks just for fun, since I know most of you don't try these out anyway. Now, before we begin pranking, make sure you are subscribed to this channel with another notifications turned on hit that thumbs up button and check it out for our first prank we'll be booby trapping a box of crayons now let's say your friend goes to the bathroom and leaves his crayons on the table like this well if it's almost time to go home this is what you're gonna do guys we're gonna booby trap the bottom so that when he picks up the crayons, they're all gonna fall out. No, we're not gonna cut off the flaps. This is what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna open the bottom, as well as the top. Now you're gonna put your hand over the top like this and flip them over so they go down, but not out all the way. Just push them down while holding on from the bottom like this. And we're gonna tuck in the flaps, as so. as well as this big one. So at this point it appears like we cut them off, but we didn't. And then we're gonna push up the crayons and we're gonna hold on to the bottom like this. Now the crayon box looks normal, so we're gonna close it up. But let's look at the bottom. Look at that. The last step is to put the crayons back where you got them from. So you're gonna hold on to the bottom and just lay them gently on the table like this. At this point, the prank is set. So when your friend is about to leave, go home, he's gonna try to pick up all his stuff, his binder and all his supplies. And when he picks up this crayon box, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> he or she's gonna have to stay a couple minutes after school to pick up these crayons. But this is like the simplest prank you can possibly pull off in class. But the good thing is that you didn't damage their box. See the flaps are still there. And your friend can easily reassemble it and put the crayons back and it's good to go. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this. This is a Lunchables box right here. It has crackers, it has cheese, and it has ham. This is a very common lunch among kids. So if you have a little brother or sister that goes to school with you, we're gonna prank them. You're gonna have to do this at home or maybe at school if you have time. But basically what you're gonna do is, you're gonna flip over the Lunchables like this. And as you guys can see, there's a piece of cardboard with the nutrition facts on them. That is gonna help us out a lot because we're gonna pull this back and it has some kind of adhesive or glue, which is okay. We can rip it out and put it back together once we're done. Careful not to damage it because we are gonna put it back. As you guys can see, it's divided into three sections, the crackers, the ham, and the cheese. Well, we can either get rid of the cheese or the ham, but I think the ham is our best option because if we flip it over, we can see the cheese, but we hardly can see the ham. So your victim, your little brother or sister, won't be able to notice that the ham is gone. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of the ham. So we're gonna take a knife. So be careful, of course, when using a knife. And we're gonna remove the bottom like this. We're just gonna cut a little L or a U because that way we'll be able to have access to the ham. And the ham is right there. So we're gonna take it out, guys. So we're gonna pull back this flap and be careful because this can be sharp at this point. So we're gonna pull this back and with clean hands, of course, guys, wash your hands before doing this prank. We're gonna take out the ham, which is a lot of ham, actually. Look at all the slices. We're gonna put them in a little baggie because we're gonna take them to school with us. Yeah, we're gonna give it to your victim after they have fallen for the prank. So wrap it up, take it in your lunchbox. 
And now, of course, this is empty. We're gonna put the flap back in and we're gonna secure it back on with a little bit of glue and the Nutrition Facts uh, cover here is gonna help us out. So, the Lunchables looks normal, it feels normal, but when your victim, your little brother or sister, opens up his or her Lunchables, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna open it up like this. <laughs> oh no, their ham is gone. They got everything but the ham in there. And of course, they're gonna be super upset because somebody tampered with their food. Of course, you're gonna come over to them and give them their ham. But at first, they're gonna be disappointed because their ham is gone, which is like the best part of this Lunchables lunchbox right here. And that's a quick little prank you guys can pull off on somebody using their lunch. Okay, so in this scenario, your friend stepped out to go to the bathroom or went somewhere like the office or the nurse. They're gonna come back, but they left their stuff on the table. They tucked in their chair. So if you're sitting next to them, here's a quick way you can booby trap their stuff. You're gonna get a piece of string and you're gonna tie the backrest of their chair to whatever item you can find. Like it could be their pencil box, their crayon box, their notebook, whatever you think would make a bigger mess. Now, of course, you don't wanna get in trouble, so you might wanna go for the less messy one. But me, I always try to make the biggest mess, so I'm gonna go with the crayon box here. So we're gonna get a piece of string. On one end of the string, I'm gonna tie a knot. That way it gives me better grip of the crayon box. So I'm gonna lay it down on the back of the crayon box, right on the bottom. And I'm gonna put the piece of tape over it. So now they can tug on it. See? We're gonna put the crayons, we're gonna lay them on the table, and then the other end, of course, we're gonna tie to the backrest, as I said. If you can't tie it on, you can uh, tape it on. Try to attach it any way you can. See, now it's going nowhere. And your victim can't really see the string from behind. So now, we're gonna open up the crayon box. We're gonna open up all the flaps, like this. And the prank is set. When your victim comes back, they're gonna pull back their chair to sit down, and this is what's gonna happen. Your classmate is approaching his chair. He's gonna pull it back. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got a bunch of crayons on his chair like that. It's just so evil. <laughs> it's not like the biggest, biggest mess. They can easily clean this up, but it is a mess, so they're gonna have to uh, pick up the crayons. It could be a bigger mess, guys. It cannot, depending on how they pull it, how fast they pull it, how hard they pull their chair. But yeah, that's a mess they have to clean up. For this prank, when your victim is not looking, this is what you could do to their pencil box, their crayon box, or whatever kind of supply box this is. You're gonna need a Ziploc bag like this. You can save this from lunch. You're gonna open it up, and you're gonna put all their supplies in there. So load up all their supplies into this Ziploc bag. Just empty out the whole box. And now you're gonna, of course, try to take out all the air, so squeeze out all the air. We don't want any air trapped in there. We're gonna close it up, and then we're gonna roll it up. Here's the supplies inside the Ziploc bag. We're gonna place it inside the pencil box, like this. Now the top, we're gonna fill up with some water. You don't have to put a lot of it, just a little bit, just to make a little mess. That is perfect. And then we're gently gonna close it and it's gonna look like the pencil box is upside down. So it might spill a little, but that's okay. We're just gonna close it up like this. So it should snap in. So now look, if you look at it, so you can see the supplies in there because this is a see-through uh, pencil box. But when your friend flips it over, it's gonna make a little spill, not a big one, but just a little one. So <laughs> they'll be in for a little surprise when they flip this over. So of course, you gotta do this prank when they leave the box unattended. So here's your victim trying to flip over their box. See? <laughs> And then, and then at this point, they're gonna be super upset because they see water coming out of the box 
And when they open it, oh, their supplies are safe because of the Ziploc bag. If you guys wanted to be real mean, you can use Gatorade or some kind of colored drink so that it's harder to clean up. But yeah, I use water for this demo, guys. But you guys can get messier and use some Gatorade or, like I said, a colored drink. For this last prank, we're gonna be messing with the pencil holder. Well, actually, this is a crayon holder. It's holding crayons. But it's usually meant to hold pencils and other supplies. Well, anyway, guys, we're gonna booby trap this. And now this can either be yours or your victim but if you do use somebody else's guys you're gonna have to replace it because we are gonna damage it but if you look at the price tag it was only 48 cents that could be a lot for you or it can't but if you do have an extra one that you can give out to your victim after you're done with this prank you can or you can just like i said booby trap your own box and set them up so they can fall for the prank first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the box inside along with the crayons we are gonna dump them out because for right now we don't need them and now at this point we're gonna have to cut off about one-fifth of this box right here so with your scissors since this is plastic you can easily cut it off so cut off about one-fifth so simple as this this little end we won't need at the end you just cut with your scissors you're gonna pierce a little hole Careful when doing this though, you don't want to cut yourself, but it should be fairly easy to make this little hole. So now that you have your hole, you're going to take a rubber band like this one, you're going to cut it, and then you're going to feed it through the little hole you just made. Just like this. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to tie both ends to make a little knot. So tie them together, done. The ends are tied together, they created a knot, and at this point, this is what it should look like. Now we're gonna put both back together, so slide one inside the other, like this, all the way through. Make sure the flap that closes it sticks out, now you're able to close it. We're gonna pull back the rubber band all the way out, and on the bottom, we're gonna use a piece of tape to stick it on there. Get yourself a piece of tape like this. So I'm pulling back the rubber band and then I'm gonna put my piece of tape over it to hold it in place like this. Basically now when they pull on this to take out the crayons or the pencils, it's gonna shoot back. See? It's just gonna pull back. So right now what we can do is we can Put a couple crayons in there and you'll see what happens. So we're gonna load it up from the bottom like this. Okay, so let's say you're trying to take out a crayon. <laughs> it's just gonna shoot them out. <laughs> it's a really fun, awesome prank that anybody can try. So let's load up all the crayons. Let's see what happens. They're gonna grab it. Try to take out a crayon. <laughs> They're all gonna come out through the other side because this pulls it back. They won't expect it. But you don't necessarily have to use crayons, guys. You can use other things. And for that example, I have a little bag right here with some Cheerios. So I'm gonna load it up. I'm gonna put my Cheerios in there. All right, so now let's say your friend's trying to take out a pencil. You tell him, hey, can you grab a pencil for me from my pencil box? Or if your friend wants to borrow a pencil, you can tell him, oh, it's in my pencil box. Just grab it from there. And when they do, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's just gonna shoot out. Now that's a big mess. I love coming out with new booby traps like this. So, uh, you know, I always try to be original with my pranks. And I really like this one because anybody can do it and you don't really have to spend much on it. All you need is a rubber band, a pencil holder, and whatever you want to load it with. So let's see that again in action. They're gonna try to take out a pencil and this is what's gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> oh man, that is messy. Oh, uh, see? 
See you guys, I gotta clean up for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, demo right here. It's pretty fun. Hopefully, uh, if, you guys, if you guys have a chance to try it out during the school year, go for it. Just don't get into trouble, all right? <laughs> As I just demonstrated, some of these pranks are quite messy, so prank at your own risk. Or don't try these at all. Or maybe you might wanna save these pranks for the end of the school year. Whatever you do, prank at your own risk. Now, before I wrap this up, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for the amazing support you guys have been showing me. This channel has been running for almost nine whole years, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. When they start walking with it, it'll start leaking. And when he closes his binder, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Uh, yuck. <laughs>